show gratitude for your sense of humor that keeps you laughing, smiling, and joking. The same sense of humor that helped you put the pieces back together when you were broken. Start your day off with a grateful heart and let that be the spark of light that pulls you from the dark. Mark Bryan said, gratitude is the most powerful emotion you will ever feel and thank you are the most powerful words you will ever say. See, when you display a grateful spirit, the universe will hear it, the heavens above will cheer it, and the demons below will fear it. So please, let's all practice gratitude on a daily basis and never forget to say thank you for the life the good Lord gave us. It may not be rainbows and sunshine all the time, but I guarantee if you take a moment to reflect, you will definitely find a reason to be thankful for your heart and a reason to show gratitude for your mind. Or better yet, what about that time when you almost did? You know what? But out of nowhere, you got a sign and you got out of that situation just in the nick of time. So that means you should say thank you for your intuition and you. Yes, you should say thank you to the person that paid your tuition because you prayed for it and it came to fruition. And you should say thank you for your two good ears because you have the ability to listen and you heard those snakes hissing and you knew it was time to abort that mission. Say thank you for your heart that knows how to mend when it's broken. Show gratitude for your composure that helps you control your emotions. Say thank you for your inner strength that helps you overcome drinking and smoking. Show gratitude for your will that never allows whining and moping. Say thank you for your optimism that keeps you wishing and hoping. Show gratitude for your sense of humor that keeps you laughing, smiling, and joking. The same sense of humor that helped you put the pieces back together when you were broken. Show gratitude, my friend, because you're a child that's golden. William Moore once said, feeling gratitude and not expressing it, it's like wrapping a present and not giving it. I say, what good is it to feel the joy of gratitude in your heart and not be showing it and not be living it? Say thank you for what you do have, no matter how great or no matter how small, because there are many others who are not so blessed, but they have absolutely nothing at all. Say thank you for your failures, setbacks, and pitfalls, because they help you revise your plan and point it out a lot of your flaws, which is the exact reason for your present day success. So please, be grateful for the obedience you had to not be stubborn and figure out the message in your mess. If you're able to walk, be thankful because many are not so blessed. If you were able to study, retain, and pass with an A, be grateful because many others failed the exact same test. Say thank you for the courage you had to remove all your toxic friends. Show gratitude for all of your losses that eventually led to all of your wins. Say thank you for the love and affection you're able to give. Be grateful for the gift of life and the ability to give it your all because you only have one life to live. Say thank you for your sense of smell because mama's cooking always smells so good. Show gratitude for the determination you had to overcome and make it out the hood because many were not so blessed. Say thank you for your worst days because they help you truly appreciate when you're at your best. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be grateful for your talent because all the scouts rank you number one. So please never take that for granted and show gratitude for your parents that gave you great wisdom and planted seeds that you were able to water and watch blossom and exceed even your wildest expectations. Gratitude is the key. This is a fact, not a rumor. So show gratitude and be thankful today for the success you already have coming to you in the future. This is a great day to win.